y'all and welcome back to the channel my name is Jordy and on this video uh, it's still a continuation from the one from yesterday only difference is um, I'm empty now well that's how I ended the video but uh, now I'm gonna go to a local hardware store uh, Home Depot and buy some four by sixes I don't know if I'm gonna get like four or six and a few other things I might need I'm not sure yet but for sure the lumber because uh, tomorrow uh, I might need it to use it to level out a load when I get it on the trailer. So um, do you know what I mean? Uh, I'll probably be showing you tomorrow when I get loaded. So yeah, let's make our way to this Home Depot. Uh, I looked around on my route to see which was the best Home Depot I can pull into. And by best, I mean the one that has like, you know, decent parking where I can swing the truck and trailer around and it's not around so many stores and you know just a good size one for, for me to fit so yeah let's get to Home Depot let's get this lumber and then we'll strap it down to the trailer and then find a place to spend the night and continue on uh, loading and going but we'll see So we made it here to the Home Depot. Luckily there's enough room here. And let's go inside and get this. I really have to go to the restroom, so that's where I'm going first. Decent parking over there. All right, so we finished here at Home Depot. I bought this cool gator from Carhartt. Little goes somewhere around here, I don't know. And we ended up getting Six of these bad boys. Two, three, four, five, six. It's not to level with that. Probably need all six to make a level, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. What we're gonna do. So now let's uh let me find where I'm gonna spend the night. So then we can just hang out and get ready for tomorrow. Alright, it's the next morning. I'm about 15 minutes out from my pickup point. They open at 8. It's 7.40, so I'll get there like at 55, five minutes before they open, more or less. Um, hopefully it's a quick uh, get there, load and go, but we'll see what happens. Let me just get out of this tight parking lot so I can go make it to the first pickup and get this adventure going. All right, so we've made it here on site, and now we just have to wait. There's one dude in front of me. You can tell this is the yard. There's all the like the trailers and wooden stuff. And mind you, they open at eight and it's 8.02. All right, so we are fully loaded, strapped down, and we're good to go. Let me show you how we strap this down. It's a little bit, not unorthodox, but just a little bit different. Let me show you. So we got one on the top deck. We got a strap right here, a strap right there strap right there so three of them going around and I'll show you in a little bit that we got one going around the middle too like a belly band and then we got two in the back with oh two inch at the bottom two at the back with the two inch at the bottom let me walk over here and show you why it's like that all right so here's a better view this one in the middle it goes up to about maybe it doesn't get the last two or one I'm not sure but it goes around so in case, God forbid, I'm going and like, I have to slam on the brakes, it doesn't come forward. And then we got this like fluorescent yellow one going around the first loop. And then we got this second two inch going also to about more or less where, the, where, the, where this first one is, the one that goes around, around there. To hold that down, more or less just so it doesn't come crashing forward back here we got a strap to hold this down and we also got the one in the back pulling this way so then right here we got these two four inches pulling down pulling the whole load down that grabs the trailer up there that grabs the trailer so the top one is holding all of them down 
and this bottom one is just here to secure it to make sure all four pillars don't move and they are bolted down by the way so they they shouldn't move but you know better to be safe than sorry you know of course drop the axle and then we did two more of the dropped of the four inches right here and then a two inch right here at the bottom and that should do it that's the load right there uh, going up to Tennessee three separate stops all of them are tractor supplies so we're gonna go drop all these off and see what goes on next you want to talk about a close call I just had two straps on the top one Rick told me to add more straps and I'm cruising I noticed that my back strap is loose and the piece of wood that goes right here was like over there and then I noticed that's a bolt it snapped this supposed to be bolted down to the wood and it snapped somewhere over there so now I gotta jack this up and, and put this here good thing we had this here I mean it they rubbed a little bit but nothing too crazy Just finished with that hopefully it'll hold I'm pretty sure it will I don't know how that last one snapped yeah everything's good and tight now I got four of my dunnages and then holding the wheels right there and all that everything should be good now so let's just keep going Yeah, I got here like 8, 8.15 when they opened, went inside, walked around, used the restroom and all that. And then uh, when I uh, when I finished all that, came outside, somebody came and helped me. We got the first one off perfect, but then the second one, it started sliding and bucking. And I don't know, I don't know if you can see that wood right there, but this one is flipped over on its belly and it fell. So then uh, the worker said, he started calling his manager and all that, and they're like, you're supposed to take him off with chains, not with just the forces with his forklift, he, he couldn't make him all the way, so he's about two thirds of the way, and it flipped. So they're like, it's no big deal, it happens, it happened to us once before. So just wait about 15 minutes till the manager or shift manager or whatever shows up, and they'll offload you, or help. So yeah, now we're just waiting for someone to come and use chains to get off the rest of the floor. Okay, so after waiting for a little bit, uh, I guess the store manager showed up, um, she came up to the door. She seemed a little bit upset, which is, I mean, understandable, one of the trailers flipped, but it is what it is. Uh, and now she's outside using the forklift trying to get them off. Uh, I'll be outside in a second trying to help her. But I probably won't take the camera because I don't want to aggravate her some more, so. Alright, let's go outside. So we are at our second location, uh, another tractor supply. So yeah, where I'm at right now, they said it's fine. I just need to wait for them to show up and help me start off loading these things. And then I gotta drive about an hour away from here to the next one.
so we just finished the second offload. This one went a little bit more smoother than the first one, obviously because um, we learned from the first one. Uh, I know on the paperwork it says driver doesn't onload and offload, but honestly, if we want to get this stuff done kind of quick, kind of safe, we kind of have to do it ourselves. But um, yeah, so I'm about an hour away from my next pickup or my next drop off, which will be the last one that's on the top deck. And then from there, I have one more pickup, which I'm not sure where it is, but we'll see here in a little bit. And yeah, so let's go three for three. Hopefully, or let's go two for three. Hopefully this uh, next one show up, boom, 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 offload, and we're good to go. So let's hit it. All right, so we made it to our third destination. Good thing is that there is an office max here next door, which I need to get a paper print. So we'll do all that, walk around tractor supply, and then get the thing offloaded, and then go pick up my next load. Hopefully this is a good one. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna record or not outside because it is raining and I don't wanna get my camera wet, so. We'll see what happens. Oh man. First drop, they flipped the trailer and it took too long. Second drop, uh, offload, it wasn't too bad. It just took a little bit, it wasn't too bad. Third drop, they I got here at 2.50 and they told me they won't offload me till tomorrow at 7 a.m. Or actually 8 a.m. So I'm stuck here till tomorrow and my next load maybe got pushed to tomorrow or got canceled. I'm not sure yet, so nothing I can do now. Um, I'm gonna stay here in the area, in the property, and uh, probably unhook and zip to nearest truck stop, take a shower, get some food, come back and just relax till tomorrow morning and see what happens, so. It'll be just a second for y'all, but it'll be quite a while for me. Hurry up and wait. Good morning, y'all. So I ended up spending the night at the, here at the tractor supply in their back, where it's pretty private. Um, it's the morning, I already made contact with them, so they told me to pull up, uh, close to the front and then uh, offload there. So I'm gonna go to the front, go inside, use the restroom, do all that good stuff before I gotta leave, and then uh, get this thing offloaded so then I can continue with my schedule of dropping off and loading, but let's see how long this takes. Alright, so we just finished the third offload. I didn't feel the recording because I had to do it kind of quick so I can go to my next one. And it went down pretty smooth. Uh, no hiccups. Uh, everything's put up. Paperwork got signed. Already shipped away. And everything went well. The only thing that sucked is that I had to stay here overnight. But small details. Anyways, um, I'm about to head to my next load. But with that, this will be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions about the new trailer or anything. And uh, probably answer them in the next video or upcom uh, upcoming following videos, something like that. Yeah, or I might you might get lucky and I'll just answer in the comments, but who knows? Anyways, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe on the next one. Keep moving forward.